Yeah, I got you. I'm uploading my vlog, so it's all good. Video is more informal. I'm gonna make a, I break it down in detail, you know what I'm saying? Alright, over here, I like to start from the top of the engine and work my way down. Over here is my coolant reservoir. Again, it holds fluid, so I make sure it isn't, what, leaking. Right, the cap's on securely, it has a proper amount of fluid. Next thing I see is my oil dipstick. I would just check and make sure it's at the proper level. If I needed to fill it, the oil fill thing's right there next to it. Okay? The next thing I see is my power steering fluid. Again, I don't want to make sure it's not leaking, broken, loose, or missing. The cap's on securely, it has a proper level. I want to check all my hoses and wires for abrasions, bubbles, and cuts on this side and the other side of the vehicle. Next thing I'm going to check is my power steering pump and my air compressor. Again, those are gear driven. I don't see any belts, so I'm assuming they're gear driven. Okay, and that's on the test. Yes. Can you get back here? Can you get the where so can see where the air compressor is, please? Sure. Make a way up there. The air compressor is right behind this side. Thank you. They look different on newer and older model trucks. They're generally in the same area, okay? And that's all you need to know, that it's over in this general area. You don't have to know what it looks like, okay? You just gotta know where it should be. If there's something there that looks like an air compressor and a pump, and it's broken, you just gotta say that, okay? You do not, are not expected to be mechanics, okay? The next thing I see is my steering shaft, my U-joints, my steer box, my pitman arm, my drag link, my upper and lower steering knuckles, my calcium nut and powder pins, and my tie rod and my tie rod ends. All those can't be broken loose or missing. And that's called the steering what? Should be on your test. Somebody should be following. Mm -hmm. Steering box. Steering roses? On this test right here. I'm going by the test. I've done this so many days. Steering box, steering hoses, and steering linkage. It's called steering linkage, okay? So the steering linkage is all the what I just named, including the steering box, the pumps, the hoses, all those things. Yes, ma'am. Do we have to uh, identify the pulmon arm? Yeah. yeah okay. That's part of the that's, steering that's linkage. That's what we need to get in there. Okay. So exactly. Okay, Which look. One is it? Oh. Yeah. Pitman arm, drag link, okay. the upper and lower steering knuckles. They have pictures in your paperwork too, okay? They're all properly labeled for the most part. Okay? So I did that steering linkage, right? My steer box, my hoses, I got all that for abrasions, bubbles, and cuts. The next thing I like to check is my frame of my vehicle. The front to the back. I, the frame. That holds everything, right? But we don't want anybody drilling on it. We don't want any legal welds. And we don't want it bent. Okay? So those are the damaged things I don't want to look for in my frame. Okay? <clears throat> The next thing I'm going to go to my suspension. My suspension includes my shock absorber, my shock absorber mount, my U-bolt, my springs, and my spring hangers. Again, they can't be broken, loose, or missing. No cracks. You can tell me any kind of damage for this, okay? Broken, loose, and missing works really well, okay? If it's metal, I would use broken, loose, or missing, oh, no. okay? Plastic or rubber, abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. If it has any kind of fluid or air, leaks. You guys see how this is working? Okay. So, next, I'm going to do my brake assembly. I'm going to do my brake canister, my brake lines, or hoses, whatever you want to call them. I'll make sure that they're not broken, loose, or missing. I'm going to do my, uh, damn it. I'll hold up my slack adjuster and push rod, okay? Make sure that they're in good working order, not damaged or broken. You can have no more than two inches of play when the brakes are applied. Next, I'm going to go to my brake drum, which is in the si inside the wheel itself. Okay, we don't want that damaged or broken. Again, you guys see how this is going. Broken, loose, or missing because it's made out of metal. If you want to tell me that about bluing, bluing is is when metal overheats and turns blue. Okay? You can tell me about that. The next thing is the brake lining, the brake pads. Okay? It can be no more than a quarter inch, no thinner than a quarter inch at its thinnest point. Okay? Because they don't always wear evenly. Okay? Next, I'm going to go to my ICD. It's my inflation, inflation condition and depth of my tire. The inflation's on the sidewall of the tire. It's usually around 110. Okay? Make sure it's filled up properly. 
uh, the condition. I don't want any abrasions, bubbles, or cuts on the inner and outer wall of my tires. You can, be, you can tell me about how it's not worn evenly, but the most important is the tread depth. No less than 430 seconds, okay? Next, I'm going to go to my rim itself. Again, you don't want anybody drilling holes in here to make it look fancier, right? You don't want someone to have to mess up and put a weld on it. These are common sense things that you don't want happen to your vehicle, okay? Uh, you can tell me about the valve stem if you want. You should have one or you have a flat tire. Okay? <laughs> so, next is our studs and our lug nuts, okay? Again, you want them all there, right? Not broken, loose, or missing. See how that covers everything? You can tell me about oxidation too because that is kind of important. If you have blue oxidation running down and around it, it can mean the studs broken on the inside. Right? Next is our hub oil. It's our hub oil cap right here. Again, it has bolts, it holds fluids, for the loose and missing, leaking, alright? Pop our mouth. That's pretty much it for that part. Next, it's the outside mirror bracket. You want to make sure it's there, because if you don't have one, you can't go to work, right? You can't see. Make sure it's not broken, you can always see. You got to make sure your door opens and closes, because if not, you can't go to work again, right? So you can tell me about door hinges. Every door has hinges. Next is, uh, well, on this truck in particular, Gas right here. If you look on that right. test, it asks for three things. It asks for rubber seal in the, in the cap right in here. It has to have that. The tank has to be properly mounted to the truck, right? So there's straps that hold it on. None of that can be broken loose or missing. And the third thing they ask for is leaks underneath it. Okay? And if you're following the test, that should be correct. Next, right here we have steps. What don't you want on steps? And if it's broken loose and missing, you got problems, right? You won't be able to get into your truck. See how this is working? Next, we're going to move down a little bit. Um, again, any light is about waist high. And it's amber in color. What do we check these for? Broken loose or missing, good working order, has to be amber in color, right? It has functions. On this side, it'd be a turn signal, four-way flasher, and running lights, okay? And it asks for that on the test. Can, can, you, can you say it again? Amber in color, broken, loose, or missing, good working order. And it has left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way flashers, okay? And it's running lights, too, so that's not on the test. So, again, we have steps. Same thing, I would check those steps for over there, okay? There's a catwalk. I check the catwalk, same thing I would check the steps for, okay? I don't want to get too much detail, but you guys know what I'm getting at, right? It's the Welcome same concept, okay? Below your catwalk is a drive line and a torque rod, or torque arm, I really don't care what you call it, okay? But you have to check for broken, loose, or missing, and good working order. See where I'm going with this? Okay, next are your your air your service lines. Your blue one's your service line, this is your emergency line, this is your electrical line. <coughs> Abrasions, bubbles, or cuts, okay? Very simple. And it connects at the truck and at the trailer. You want to make sure that those aren't what? Broken, Broken loose, loose or missing, missing, right? On these plat hands, they have seals inside of them. If you want to tell me about checking them, you care, okay? We just want to make sure there's no leaks on this, okay? Uh, what up? Oh, you can call this headerboard, bulkhead, front of the trailer, it's all the same to me. Okay? If you see amber color lights up there, what do you check them for? The same thing we check every damn light for, right? Okay. Next. Sorry, before you go for that, um, what did you say is the cost? It's where you want to cost. It's where you want to You hook these up most of the time. Okay? Uh, let's go to that. Yeah, we have any, there's a blue one down there. It looks like we can get them. Alright, we'll go down that blue truck and I'll finish up. Okay? Sometimes. Alright, so that's what you're getting so far. A little something more than anyone else uploaded so far. So we're just going over the pre trip inspection right now. And we're actually walking over to another one of the other semis right now. So this is a pretty good treat, right? I don't think anyone else is on this up there. Cabin, back so. not getting any sleep, I guess. Like I said, I'd inform you guys and break it down into detail. <laughs> I know, back at it again. And yeah. Hey, but you know what? Last night we kind of had it. Hey, I don't know. It was kind of cool. Now we're going to sort all this shit together. I got to adjust that later. Adjust what? 
storage for this face. All right. I told you I had your back, bro. I told you I'd pay you back. You could have sat there with your hand killing your face. So this is where it gets wow. important. I'm going to show you guys something that's pretty cool, okay? When you get to this part, you can go, Mr. Examiner, with your permission, I'd like to check these axles the same as I did that one up there. You know what that includes? Your brakes, your suspension, your rims, your tires. You transfer all those points with you, and it'll carry you with you to every axle, if you say that. If you do not say that, I go, okay, cool. That means you have to go through all those parts again. Okay. Can you repeat that section again, what you just said? What what? You just said? Examiner with, your examiner. with your permission, Mr. Examiner, I'd like to check these axles, the same as I did that one up there. But now you have to note the differences, because there are differences, okay? And I'll tell you what they are. First of all, there's two, two tires back here each, right? Yeah. So they have to be properly butted together. The tread depth back here is minimum is 230 seconds, okay? These are called seconds. axle seals instead of hub seals, okay? Not broken, loose, or missing. Yes. And also back here we got a control arm mount and a control arm, which oh. leads to airbags and airbag mounts. Where's That's a different. At? Where they at? Can't see. Control. Right there. Okay. There, there's there's pictures also. Okay. And if you follow that, it goes to airbags, and airbag mounts down here. So if we have air in something and it's rubber, what do we check those for? Leaks. Leaks. Abrasions, bubbles, and cuts. Right. And leaks. Okay. ABC. ABCs, right? So, in the next part is the hard part because a lot of people forget it because they can't see it all the time. Okay? There's a quarter inch piece of steel plate down here. It's called the apron. Okay? And you know what's welded to the apron? The king pin. The king pin slides into what? The locking jaws. The locking jaws is inside what? The skid plate. Below the skid plate is the platform. Below that is the sliding fifth wheel locking pins. Below that is the mounting bolt which holds everything together to the frame. I want to make sure all that crap is not broken, loose, or missing and in good working order. There's a ha release handle on the other side. Got to make sure that works, right? Okay. Done. Now you can come to the side of this truck and go, you know what, Mr. Examiner, I'm going to check the whole side damn thing of this. Make sure I have all my lights and reflectors and they're all in good working order. They're amber in color. Left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flash. Sweet. Okay. I got a question, Anthony. So on the, is it always on the side? Is always ambers? Yes. In the back, it's always red. So. Right. By law, anything that's at the back of a vehicle needs to be red in color. Why? Because it indicates stopping. Next, mud flap. The only specifics we need to know about mud flaps is that they cover the width of the tire and they're not hanging on the ground, that's and that you are. have them. Okay. Side mud flaps. There are some reflectors. You can tell me about them. It's not really on the test. Back here, there's two lights. Okay. Actually, there's three, but I don't care about the reverse light because why? It's not on the test. Okay. But these lights have five functions. They're tail lights, brake lights, <laughs> left, right, and four-way flashers. Okay. I don't care about the reverse light. It's not on the test. You find on the test, I'll give you 50 bucks. Okay. So that's all that's covered right there. Right. Pretty easy stuff. Next, I got landing gear. It's metal, broken, loose, or missing. It goes up and down. It works. Tell me about the functions of it. There's a handle on the other side. If you don't have a handle, it don't work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Underneath there, there's um, I call them ribs. Okay, but it's basically the frame of the trailer. And that's what's on the test. Again, it's metal, broken, loose, or missing. Right? You don't want any missing, anything like that. Okay. Uh, this ain't on the test. Hey Anthony, so when you mentioned that landing there, you mentioned that. Yeah, I talked about it, did I not? And then I you told you what it did, right? Okay. Again, I kind of already covered this light, but I'm going to do it again, just because I like the another acronym, CYA. You all know what that means, right? Yeah. Right. Again, <clears throat> amber in color, not broken, loose, or missing. Left turn signal, right turn signal, forward. make sure those all function properly. Yeah. Actual name for these CYA, you want? I really want you to do it. I want to make sure I retain everything you said. Yes. Yeah. Just cover your ass. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I, run, I want to retain you everything. Hear me say I want to hear you say everything. All right. Yeah. Okay. So these are different. But again, I'm gonna tell the examiner. With your permission, I'd like to check these axles, just like I checked those ones up there. So I keep. If you guys do this, this brings 28 points with you if you do it correctly. Okay. Hey, now, if you miss something up there, it's gonna follow you also. Okay, so let's say up there you forgot the brake pads. Well, I'm not going to give you credit for brake pads all the way down. Okay, you guys see how it works. 
All right, so these are super single. Tread depth is still 230 seconds. These actually have hub seals on them. Okay, so we kind of already know what that, kind of already cover that, right? These are also aluminum ribs. This is all covered because you carried it from over there. Okay. Brake assembly, the suspension, and all that keeps coming over if you tell me that. If you, if you tell me I want to check just these tires, go with me. I'm just going to give you credit for the tires. So you guys see how important yeah, it is to tell me about the axles. Yeah, yes. okay, when you say two, you can use them two once. Two, 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 that means you, you don't got to fucking say about anything. Mm -hmm. you know, That's what I'm telling you. Out. Yeah, so it, it makes this test easier, right? Okay. Okay. That's what I'm trying to help you out with. This is, this is the secret, okay? Get in here. All right, and there are differences back here, okay? The hangers and the torque rods back here, the hanger for itself is welded instead of bolted. Okay? Any cracks? And cracks, Lee, you can tell me about any descriptive words that you guys like to use. It doesn't have to be my test. This is your test, okay? There's an equalizer back here, but guess what? It's not on the test. Okay, we have a... This is a sliding tandem handle, okay? Right here. Okay, this whole tandem thing will move back and forth. It's on the test. So, it's, what would you tell me about it? Broken, loose, or missing? The handle works? You guys, listen. All right? It's you very see, simple. If you can see it, mention it. Huh? Mention it, basically. Is yes. there a video on YouTube? Sir? Yeah. Yeah. You guys should have seen it. There's already. a there's, there's a lot of them. Videos. There's a lot of them. What there's is a lot. guy named uh, Jose uh, Juan. There's another guy. He's teaching about the. Uh, What's uh, gonna teach this one now? So I mean. So again, we have a mud flap. With your with your permission, Mr. Instructor, I test check this mud flap just like I checked that one up there. Okay. So are you on YouTube doing a pre uh, trip? No, I'm not. Okay, you should do <laughs> what? <laughs> video. Right, nah. So, this is a door chain ha chain hanger. Okay, this is a silly thing, but it's on the test. Okay, again, broken, loose, or missing. Very simple. Okay, I do not give a crap about this light. I'll tell you about it though. An ABS light, not on the test. I don't really want to hear about it. Okay? Not on the test. Oh, so Note yourself. <laughs> not on test. Yeah. Why is it not on the test? These are door chains. Oh, yeah. You need it for the door hangers. Okay? These are all things that you have to have to do your job. If you think about it that way, it should be much simpler. Okay? You don't want these doors flapping open back and forth right. when you're trying to back into a dock in between some two trucks. Terrible. And your door up. Okay? Again, we have lights back here at the back of the vehicle. They have to be red in color. Not broken, loose, and missing, in good working order. They have five functions. I want to hear them. Left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flashers, tail lights, and brake lights, right? That's it. I don't give a crap about this DLT bar. I don't care about the license plate light. It's not on the test. Do you have to have it? Not yeah. on the test. If you find it, I'll give you 50 bucks. DLT bar. Yeah. All right. Okay. Did you say the back back there, like, because you know how you did the driver door, you said they have hinges, and you say, sounds you say good to me. I'd like to check this the same way with the driver. Except that then you'd have to make sure you tell me the good answers, okay? So what is it? Okay, the lights have five functions. That's the chain for okay. the door hanger. Oh, okay. it has to be red in color. I'm broken, loose, or missing in good working order. Your left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flashers, tail lights, and brake lights. It's on the test. You'll see it in little parentheses next to the lights, okay? Okay? Then you come to this side of the vehicle, you go, Mr. Examiner, with your permission, I'd like to check this side of the truck, the same as I did on the other side. If there was any exceptions, I would note them. Since there is not, this completes my test. Oh. Oh, sorry. You are done. I think I got 100%, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> What's the most points you can get? You got them all. Uh, you have to get All right. in the past. That's a minimum. So on, a pack, when, on Wednesday, if we do a little run-through test with you guys, we want 70. And I'll tell you guys why. Okay, we've had a lot of issues with students oh, they're not using their time wisely, okay? You are all adults. You're all here for a job, correct? Well, everyone wants to go make some money. I'm trying to teach you how. I went to a school just like you. I was 22 years old. I had my first kid. I was like, I got to make some money. And I went and did it. I've always had a job since. Not the best jobs, but I've had jobs. Okay? It's not hard. You guys look at the paper and see truck driving jobs, hundreds of them. Yes, you first. Because the uh, fixed release valve is on this side, do we need to. I mentioned it on that side. So the way that the instructor is telling you to make you do the test on the right side, 
question. Um, yes. Do you think we can go on that side since it's more of a room? Because this is 